You know what? I think I'm just gonna go with the Wi Fi. Or, uh, not the Wi Fi, the, uh. That's weird. Video capture device. just randomly like stops working on its own i'm not sure why and then i have to unplug the power cord and unplug it back in oh that's nice yeah that's like 300 hundred dollar piece of equipment that works at the time okay now it's better what are you using go xlr Sweet. Okay. Well, is it gonna work? I guess. Get it. No, I gotta find it. Okay, now it's there. Cause that the actual GoPro is fine. It's not eating up all the memory. I'm glad I paid. to have it give me like 10 frames a second it's a setting it's not a yeah I'll mess with it later <sighs> yeah I forgot how much stuff there is uh, there is that goes on uh, cool okay No, I just got a. Okay, 1980 by 1920 by 1080. Highest FPS. Configure video. Oh, yeah. Now I can get camera control, baby. Zoom. Oh, no. I don't want any zoom. I need to be zoomed out if possible, but it's probably not. watching me right well you're not live oh, I'm not oh, okay It's smooth again. Okay, it's good now. So move your left hand. Alrighty. Oh my god, there's so much of a delay behind me on YouTube. Yeah, there's. Apex on screen and the veteran's technical difficulties, right? Okay. Uh, how's the focus? It's good. Okay. You can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm up. 
he cut out again, dude. Horizontal and boom, baby. Wait, I got it. Darn it. Wait, no, I don't want to click it. Hold on, hold on. Crap. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, thanks again if you're joining us. Uh, my name is Martha. Today we're going to be taking a nice, delicious strawberry pie. All we want to do is uh, make sure that we have nice, fresh, ripe strawberries. And this is going to gently de-seed those. There we go. Okay, sweet. Now that gets done with. Put my music back on. Oh, yeah.
sometimes I'll spend like 30 minutes on a model and then I'll realize that uh, it's a really shitty unit and they're only going to survive about 5 minutes before they get blown up by some gigantic alien creature or a demon Hey, your stream chat is real low your stream, like voice volume is real oh. low now oh wait no i heard her all right there it is lazy. I only gave that guy about uh, one coat. what I was talking about right there is starting to pull back on me. So I think my wet palette might be doing too good of a job. Adding a little too much water. So we're going to give him a minute to dry off, think about what he's done. I'm going to go back to this little boy right here. Give him a couple more. Strokes. Uh, and then, if you thin your paints enough, it doesn't matter how many times you go back over it, you're not going to wash off any of that detail. So we can just go over this all day. Don't worry about the recesses too much because we're going to give this bad boy a wash later. Make sure your uh, miniature is actually clipped into the paint handle before you uh, go holding them over a nice full wet palette of paint. 
because that could have sucked a lot. Okay. Alright, that looks good enough for government work. Let's watch that. Double check his friends. Oh, yeah, that is. That must have been hammered. I missed a bunch of stuff on him. Alright, and yeah, there's some tan. Oh, yeah, I did a terrible job of this one.
in camo. Make sure you shake your paints pretty well. Now, if you're using a dry palette at home, uh, I recommend, and that's just a normal piece of paper or a plastic dish that you can get at any Walmart or hobby store, uh, I recommend that you don't use as much paint as I'm getting out right now, because it's, it's all going to end up going to waste. Just really get out what you need. Uh, I'm using what's called a wet palette, so there's water underneath the, my uh, paper and it'll get drawn up into the paint and basically keep its consistency as long as there's water underneath my uh, palette. Uh, if you have a serious amount of painting to do, it's the best tool that I've gotten so far. Uh, I absolutely love it and I'll recommend it to anybody. This is the Army Painter Wet Palette. Uh, I picked it up at my local comic shop. Uh, it was about twenty dollars, and I I just love it. Uh, let's say that I wanted to quit and I was done painting for the night. I could just walk away. I put the lid back on it and bundle it back up, and leave it alone. I can come back to it three days later, and my paints will still be good. Uh, you just got to keep it hydrated every couple of days, like watering a cactus. Before I add this, I was just using a little 97 cent uh, little painter's palette that you'd use for watercolors. I picked it up at Walmart. Uh, that'll work absolutely fine. If you don't even have that, you can literally just use uh, the front of a spiral notebook. Um, you just you don't want to use paper because that will absorb the water in your paints. Uh, but anything that uh, isn't too absorbent, like like I said, the uh, shiny side of the front of like a steno notepad, that'll work. Or just go pick up a palette. Citadel sells palette paper. Um, I personally don't think it's worth the $10 that they charge for it. Uh, some people disagree. Um, if you're going to spend $10 on it, I'd just shell out another $10 and, like I said, get a wet palette. Um, otherwise, just spend the $0.97 cents and get a little plastic dish with about 10 or 12 divots in it. That'll do you absolutely just fine. And the plus side is, is you can use it forever once your paint dries. Like the next day, you can just go and kind of take your fingernail and dig the paint out of the divots and it'll come off nice and clean. You've got nice clean white plastic for your next session. Um, oh crap. If I wasn't using a wet palette right now, uh, my flesh tone right there would probably be dry and have a nice skin on it. But uh, as I'm about to show you, because I just noticed I missed a spot right there. Uh, I can just come back to it. And it's this exact same consistency that I left it at. And that's why I absolutely love this, th this thing.
pouch, 100% gonna be OG green. color I think I'm gonna be able to get away with only doing one coat because it's gonna get affected a lot more by the shade that I'm about to throw on here in a minute hello. oh hello and he went to bed What you doing? God damn it. Yo. Hello. Hello. Yo. my Dr. Nazarden voice. Living my 600 pound life. Hello! How y'all doing? Now, Angela. Last time you came in, you... You weighed 578 pounds. I, I, I told you you need to lose 60 pounds before surgery. What happened? Yo. Yo. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, you kept dropping out. Turned on. Oh no! Are you, uh, are you sure? Absolutely am. On what? YT. Oh. No, you don't get that. Give me that. So, it, it's a two parter because uh, my camera decided to, uh, you know, I was using the um, cam link uh -huh. and it was hooked up to my GoPro because it's like so much more convenient and better than my uh, webcam and uh, it decided to just start recording at like 10 frames per second uh -huh. I'm sorry 10 seconds per frame um, so that was fun so uh, this is the streams a two-parter
it's working now though dude so oh i'm sorry chat uh got a little bit of wraith bone right now we're gonna do some t-shirts i'm talking to chat but it's me and andy so uh, what i like about youtube though is it automatically uh posts to the um it automatically posts to youtube yeah. So I think I'm gonna just do like every Monday. Cause I don't do shit on Mondays and I need to start being more productive. What what's their stream? I don't see it. Hammer uh time. Yeah. It's hammer time, right? Yeah, hammer time W C. Got it? Yeah. Hey. Oh, yo, dude, did I show you this uh, Chimera? Let me, let me show you this Chimera real quick. Hold on. So, did I show you, like, the dribbly ball sack thing that I was working on? Okay, so... Basically, right, Liam and Russ... In frame is coming to you in a second. YouTube's like 45 seconds behind. So, what I did was I took medical gauss, right? And I started to make camo knitting. So, there's this now. Yo, so I did like uh, a bunch of base coats and like some watered down glue, and it made it like stiff, like plastic. And then I painted over the whole shit and uh. I like used a fuck ton of uh, Nuln Oil shader and it gave me this dude, it looks sick. Oh, you can see it? Oh, uh, the tan or the green? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's behind, so hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna finish up this squad real quick. Then I'm gonna finish up the Chimera. Then I gotta put some more camo netting on your boy. And then I still have so much Catachin stuff to build. I just haven't let myself build it yet. I've got two more of these squads to build. So I'm going to get myself all caught up before I, you know, put any more plastic together. Ah, oh, shit. What did I just do? I have no idea. I ain't, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. We already told him, though, me and Senior, uh, that if he shows up, he has to play Dyson. Oh my god, we don't have an Ember anymore. Ember? I don't know, I mean... Because they're lanky, lanky people. Yeah, we got, we got Anderson. like ass. 
you don't need a t-shirt. Uh, you do need a t-shirt, so let's give you a t-shirt. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this every Monday starting at 8 or 7.30, I don't know. Whichever works. I'm so proud of myself though, dude. I came home, I, I like did all of my laundry. I folded all of my clothes. Big thing. Yeah, I was making moves today. phone. Oh yeah, I'll check this. I uh, set up my phone for uh, the stream deck. Yeah. Holy <laughs> <laughs> I gotta set up more buttons, but I was running out of time and I didn't want to start my stream too late. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, that's gonna be my sub button right there. Is Should I make the bolt pistol? Bolt pistol? Yeah, so obviously. Yeah, you're like old school, like, you know, it's just brown. It's fucking. I see some shit. Dude, you should make, like, little, little. Do you have any snipers? Oh, yeah. Dude, you gotta put that, that stuff on it, too. Oh, Gilly? Oh, yeah, my ball yeah. sack? Yeah. No, 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 wholeheartedly. Uh, the sniper. Hold on, let me get the snipers for you. So these are the Catachin snipers right here. They already got like little baby ghillie suits, but this motherfucker's laying down. Uh, I keep putting uh, under my magnifying glass for some reason. I love how like these ones, they're metal and these models are old as shit. They've been around forever, but they're all in different positions. So you've got one dude crouching, one dude standing, and one dude prone. <clears throat> let's uh, let's talk about how uh, me and Bobby set a record. Yo, oh shoot, that was cool. That's the next squad that I gotta paint after the Chimera. Yeah. Oh, hold on, I got, I got a couple of finished ones. So it's your, it's your boy, goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Oh. 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 You seeing that? armies all right hey yo just just paint kill teams dude yeah just 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 paint kill teams that's like my sole fucking drive another army. no 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 more plastic yeah. gotta, get on the, gotta get on the interwebs now um oh <laughs> just... uh speaking of goddamn you know jesse ventura and predator uh this shit'll make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus Sponsored by. 
Thank you, Copenhagen, uh, for sponsoring this video. And he's monetized. <laughs> yeah, um, Susan. Susan just like Skype calls me. Yo, um, I did find on eBay, and I bought it. Hard copy, a uh, hardback copy of R Warhammer Forty Thousand Rogue Trader. Look, you can't be telling me that I can't buy anymore when all I hear is you buy, buy, buy. No, no, no. You don't understand. You, do you know what Rogue Trader is? I don't know, sir. First edition. Nineteen eighty seven hardback in like fucking pristine condition. Uh oh. Why Yo, we could say that. No, we could take this shit back to the eighties. You have it? On the, you have it? Uh, no, it's coming in uh on the eleventh. We're playing some uh what's we calling? Kill team? The D the D, &D kind of thing. Oh, um, you talking about that shit that I was talking about? What? Oh, no, my. I'm talking about the, the Warhammer. Um, Blackstone Fortress? No, 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 no. Another one. Where they don't have guns. Oh, Age of Sigmar? Age of Sigmar. Let me show you. Let's see. Ooh, adaptive mechanics. Dude, paint your shit. Dude, if I get works. Dog, paint your shit. I'm just get a little kill team at works. Yo, paint your shit. Paint your kill team. Dude, uh, you know I don't paint. Kevalites and Severites, all right? Get it, hey, get that get that base three colors so it's tournament legal. How about that? No. All right? No. Oh. You know stuff I have? Yeah, dude, dude, you know how much stuff I, I have a whole... Here, here's how much stuff I have. A whole goddamn display case. Uh, and then some. Now I gotta adjust my camera back. Explore the, oh, Explore oh uh, the by the way, now I'm using lead belcher. I'm gonna get some silver. Oh, yeah. Goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Yours is a Astra Militarium, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or Grey Knights. Grey Knights are uh, Inquisition Demon Hunters. They're a chapter of Space Marines, technically, but they excel at uh, psychic and um, killing demons. Uh, ooh. Yo, get some. Yo, dog. Adapted fucking the gold dudes. Custodies? Yeah, dude. Some kill, like, so a little, little kill I mean, too. the good thing is is that you only have to buy like five units because they're so fucking expensive points-wise. What are these? Star, I think X... Star Striders? What are these guys? Uh, those are the Custodies, or uh, the Mechanicus guys, I believe. It's like a really... Star Striders. Oh, that's pretty cool. What the... Oh, dude, they're on, their, they're on like, lone little race. That was a Star Strider. Link it in the Discord. I'm just on the Kill Team website on, uh, Warhammer. Alright, uh, text it to me, actually. Why, why, why are you looking to buy a new shit, dude? Where's Andy? He's asleep for some reason. He means sleep. He told me he was going to sleep. Why? Dude, I don't know. That's going to work till 8.30 tomorrow. I know. 8 whole 30. I don't, I don't know if he knows that. I mean, I, I, everybody should, but... I know that. Yeah. I, don't even, I don't even ask the time yet today. Uh, where the fuck are we? Direct messages. Oh, we're 
matter at the Discord. He could have just texted it to me. I did text it. But I could just link it in the Discord. Holy oh my god. Uh, that's uh, Blackstone Fortress, guys. Wait, they're in Kill Team. The game? I said games, Kill Team. Um, uh, I didn't get your text. Uh, no, I sent out this one. Oh. I how it looks here. What the hell were you looking at? Dude, go to the second one. Second. Euclidean Star Striders. Dude, do you see this? Dude, they got a dog with armor. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. Oh, that's dope. Okay, the rogue traders. Yeah. Oh, and the Geller Pox infected look dope. Right? Mm hmm. They look like really good. Yeah, those are some nice sculpts. Is this like new? Uh, looks like it. Because, I don't know, I haven't seen this. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. I haven't been following Kill Team that much. Into, uh, eBay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Paint your shit. I'm just looking to. You and I both know that's a lie. What? Look, dude, I didn't buy any new models, okay? I just bought books. Ooh. Oh, I already pulled it up. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, they are. All like, oh, 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 here we go, bro. Dude. Chat, we need uh, we need an intervention. Oh, never mind. You're lucky nobody's there. Do they have the um? What's one calling? I keep forgetting the terrain for thirty bucks. Yeah. For that one. Hello, my wife. You're not wearing one. No, I am. Does it? No, 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 that's the other one. The other one. Yeah, uh, I was having technical difficulties. Oh. My
my uh, my camera dropped out, so I started a new stream. <laughs> Adri's so camera shy. She wasn't even in shot, and she would. She didn't want to stay in the room. <laughs> yeah, dude, they have their own like book now. Yeah, Codex, dude. Really? Yeah, it's like a whole kill team thing. That's dope. Yeah, the whole kill, dude, kill team. The whole kill team is a. Uh, 50 bucks with the whole codex and cards. Their cards. Yo, dog. And like little, little things. Yo, dog. <laughs> I need it. Nah. $73. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this a bidding war? $50. Now with that $7 shipping. Oh, this one is free shipping. Yo, um, what I was thinking about doing though, because uh, the last few editions are dirt cheap, right? So um, I was thinking about getting like every edition's rule books. Just to like have. Yeah. So the first edition, because it's from 1987. Yeah. Uh, I paid about uh, 50 bucks actually no I paid 65 bucks plus sh uh, five dollar shipping yeah but that motherfucker's retailing for like 150 Jesus but uh fifth edition which is the one where I left off at uh, hold on oh, the Emperor! Uh, fifth edition where I left off at, I got that rule book. Or actually, did I get fourth? I think I got fourth edition for five dollars. Oh. Nice. Which hey, we can play fourth edition. We just need <laughs> get a codex. Fourth edition was fucking dope, dude. Yeah. It was a lot more in depth. Like um, you had to actually position your tanks. There was firing arcs, so. No, uh, your guns couldn't shoot 360 degrees on a tank unless they had a turret. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And then, like, side sponsons, uh, they had a cutout. And then flamers had a flame template. And uh, it was about, like, I want to say, like, between, like, 8 and 10 inches. And uh, I don't have it anymore, obviously, but... Um, it was like a cone, and anything that was underneath the template automatically got hit. Damn. So, like, that's that's why, like, Flamers auto-hit. It's because it's, like, coming straight out of there. I think they got rid of the templates in 7th edition. Obviously, I didn't play 7th edition. Yeah. But, uh... That's where that's coming from, but, dude, like, missile launchers... So they had three templates, right? They had small blast, large blast, and flamer. Um, small blast was like probably like three inches in diameter, and that was like for your frag missiles, right? Or frag grenades, or like just random shitty tank shells. Yeah. Large blast was like almost the size of a CD. Damn. Yeah. And, um, so, like, they had, uh, like, uh, like, the, the gun on the night, right? Mm -hmm. That would be a large blast. Damn. And it's, like, still the same strength. The, uh, the thing that, like, was weird about that, though, was uh, they had what's called scatter dice, which you've probably seen mine. It's that one, it's that dice with an arrow on it. So what you would do 
was uh, you roll the scatter and then one dice. And if it uh, one out of three times, because it had two uh, two targets on there, if it if it landed on a target, you didn't move it at all. But if it landed on an arrow, however many uh, your D6 had, it would be how much it drifted. So you can move up to six inches, and then you just move it in whatever direction the arrow is at. So you could like fuck yourself up if you're shooting stuff that's close to your guys. Oh shit! And then you like had to subtract your ballistic skill and everything, and then they had a whole concept called initiative. So you know how like if you charge, you're fighting first. Well, back in the day, if you charged, like let's say that I had like just like some badass hero. And it was just charging like cultists. The lower your initiative, you fight first. Whoever has the lower initiative fights first. So if your cultists charge my like super dude, the super dude's still gonna charge first because he's like faster. I'm watching a video. Oh, you're fine. I can't talk and paint anyway, so. Oh, no! Got too much red on his arm.
Yo, you wanna hop on some Rocket League? Huh? You wanna hop on some Rocket League? Rocket League? Yeah. Is that your new thing now? Uh, I started playing it with my buddy. Uh, uh, do you not know what's happening tomorrow with uh, Call of Duty? Yeah. What? Battle Royale. Battle Royale. I'm back. Oh, so now y'all are gonna start playing Call of Duty. Yeah, because it's, it's interesting now. It, it's been interesting, bro. Alright, uh, hopefully we do squads of four, maybe, hopefully. Battle Royale's whack. Oh, so you're not gonna play it? Eh, probably not. Wow. There's no building in this. It's pretty much just a giant, you can only die once. Wow, so what you're telling me is it's like Battle Royale. Yeah. Hunger Games. Oh, wow. Because I'm playing with skill, right? Not respawning and just camping. No, you're gonna be camping and not respawning. <laughs> you absolutely can camp in Battle Royale. Uh, That's like what you have to do. for our offices. So, just gonna give it that to him tomorrow. Okay. Yo, um, let me know, you know, I didn't mean to barge in on your, uh, game night, un you know, un uninvited. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I didn't know what's going on. I don't, like, play Fallout, so... <laughs> Told me like a day before. Like, oh. oh, I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think they're having one on the 13th at their place. Pierce? Yeah. He lives oh. at a uh, base housing. Absolutely. I would love to see that dynamic. <laughs> uh, I think it's the 13th. Is it? Do him and his old lady fight more than me and my old lady? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'll bring popcorn. They, uh, they're pretty into it. Hell yeah. I'm tell Asia we got something to do on the 13th. Hey. I think it's the 13th. We have a, we have a game night chat. That's really cool though that you set that up. You play kill team in your uh, game night chat. Alright. All right. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to cut it right here. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, we'll get you some completed catechins. Maybe Monday. All right. Uh, you stay sexy out there.